Jordan. Three moves on Russell. We're down to two. Down to one. Here's Jordan. Business for these guys tonight. Ah, giving the gift of basketball here on this Christmas Eve. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the New York Knicks here in New York. Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Ali, it's all. It is. Great perspective. Good stuff there, Ali. Thanks. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Early on in the year, Brent, what are you looking to see from teams that you consider contenders? I think about late game execution, B.A., all the opportunities within a fourth quarter. If the game is within 10 points, those teams who want to take themselves seriously as contenders for the championship, that's when they need to be at their best. On the court right now for Cleveland. Garland and Sexton are the backcourt tandem. Then it's Andre Drummond. Then there's Kevin Porter, and it's Nance in at the four-man spot. You know, one area where Andre Drummond has improved is at the free throw line. Check this out, B.A. In his first five years in the league, he shot below 40% from the free throw line. The last handful of seasons, over 50%. Now, that's cut down a little bit on the hack-a-shack strategy from opposing teams. And there it is for him. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And it's the Knicks with the ball following the score by Cleveland. Right side, Davis. Pass to Barrett. Clock at six. No good. A bit long that time. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Here's Drummond. And Toppin pulls it down. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. That's an easy shot provided by Dennis Smith Jr. The Cavaliers have got 8 of 13 attempts to go. Outside Sexton on the wing Porter. Pass to Drummond. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one misses. Dotson's checked in for New York. And Cleveland with a change here too. Thompson, he's checked in for Nance. And the second free throw is good. And 101 left in the first quarter. And here is Barrett. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Dotson. Back to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Outside Porter. To the inside. The shot by Drummond. No good. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the foul goes against Cleveland. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. Cleveland has gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Pass to Sexton. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. And guys, the Cavaliers pretty much for the Cavaliers. Drummond's checked in for Thompson. Nance comes in for Bell. And Sexton subbed in for Garland. So for Cleveland right now, they've got Andre Drummond. Okuro is out there with Colin Sexton. Then there's Kevin Porter. And it's Nance in at the power forward. Down low. And there's Toppin on the assist by Davis. Toppin's got five now. 
It would take some very special defense to stop him once he gets that close to the bucket. And they weren't special that time. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. It's no secret that Andre Drummond was very unhappy with the trade last season to leave Detroit. He said, quote, if there's one thing I learned about the NBA, there's no friends or loyalty. But now, with a fresh start and it would appear something to prove, we'll see what he has in store. Yeah, still more story to write, Allie. Thanks. Hey, yo, right here. Outside Sexton. Pass to Drummond. Over Toppin. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And he can't get the first one. That's off as well, so he misses both. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Throw it down on the lob. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. A minute four left to play in the half. Outside Porter. Let's go with a three. Second chance shot. Drummond with the bucket. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second chance opportunities. Now here's Smith. 43 seconds left in the second quarter. Toppin' shot is off. Cleveland has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Sexton passes to Nance. Got a piece of it. And Nance with the slam. 27 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Smith outside. Pass to Toppin. Driving inside. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebound. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Now Sexton. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, Grant, what do you see as the qualities that make a good coach a great coach? VA with the modern player in today's game. You know, I think great coaches uh, that exist are relationship guys. They understand their players. They're great communicators. Great teachers know how to motivate and inspire uh, as the league has also become much more younger in the last 10, 15 years. There's definitely a point of emphasis on player development, teaching, uh, and helping these young men grow on and off the court. We've got R.J. Barrett. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Toppin. Then it's Green, and it's Dotson in at the shooting guard. That's the five for New York right now. Porter against Barrett. Blocked! Now the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot. Swatted away. Pass to Dotson. Sinks it from distance. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. And the shot is good by Garland. Oh, you've got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. We've got a minute 48 left in the third. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Pass to Nance. Nice move. And Nance with the slam. Rolling with some momentum. Nance Jr. Lane inside. He's going to take it. Here's Toppin. 
There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. Toppin's got six points in the quarter. Cleveland has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Outside Sexton on the wing Porter. Here's Bell. Robinson defending. Nance right side. Over Toppin. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Cleveland has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Garland. Nance outside. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Bell. Here's Porter. And Toppin pulls it down. Toppin's got rebound number eight now. From eight feet away. Here's Robinson. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. Robinson's got his third bucket of the night. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out. But it's just not enough with that length. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The fourth, and the Cavaliers make it a change here. Nance has checked in. On the court for the Cavaliers. Tristan Thompson is out there with Kevin Love. Then there's Okoro. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Nance in at the shooting guard position. Pass to Okoro. Thompson outside. Now here's Love. Just three to shoot. The three from Okoro. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Here's Toppin. From deep. Here's Randall. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Tristan did a great job of elevating to deny that one. Outside Love. Pass to Nance. Drummond with the ball. Over Toppin. Drummond inside. Can't connect from short range. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Grant, I know you faced Kobe Bryant a lot over the years. What's the main thing you'll remember about him? Well, B.A., there's so much to remember about the late, great Kobe Bryant. The buzzer beaters, the excellence, uh, the, the dedication and focus he brought to his entire career. But the thing that's beautiful about Kobe's journey was him starting off as a young man, trying to find his way, at times struggling, endearing himself to his teammates. And as he went through his career, he really became the elder statesman, the big brother. His influence on today's players was just incredible. And I, I think it was just a beautiful story to follow from start to finish. Uh, what an incredible ambassador for the game. What an incredible leader in the game of basketball. And he's someone that we all sorely miss today. Pass to Toppin. Fires in the triple. I like to see Dennis Smith see other guys. Nice job of setting them up now. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Here's Sexton. It's tipped. Trying to get back on track. And he lays it in. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by 11. There's a minute 54 left to play in the fourth quarter. We present our New Balance Player of the Game, Andre Drummond. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. Wow, he delivered exactly what they needed in this one, injecting much-needed energy into this squad and helping them bounce back from that last loss. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Left side, Sexton. Here's Drummond. 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. And he knocks down the first one. And so Drummond nails them both. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Smith outside. It's Barrett on the wing. Here's Toppin, covered by Love. Oh, Drummond with a block! And it's out of bounds to the Knicks. New York will retain possession. And here are the Knicks now. Trailing by 13. Smith with it. And Drummond picks him up defensively. Smith no good. The Cavaliers shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Cavaliers. Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space. And they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening. And again, the Knicks missing. Well, Cleveland shooting 40% so far in this one. Pass to Akuro. Outside Garland. Drummond with the screen. Three on the clock. And he drops it first. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And it's the Knicks with the ball. It's a 16-point game. They need this. And it's Barrett with the three. Well, finding some room there on the perimeter, the lefty, R.J. Barrett, knocks it down. To the middle. 15 seconds left in the final quarter. Pass to Exum. From the arc. It's rebounded by New York. Smith outside. And here's Toppin from the arc. Missed it. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. It ends up being a fairly easy road win.